G'day guys, just going to do a couple of videos in regards to the setup of the Futaba CGY 760 Flybarless unit. Um, today's video is going to cover the basic transmitter setup. So what I've done here is created a new model memory, and so far the only thing I've done is renamed it Setup. The next step we model type is Helicopter and H1, that'll also be the default. Servo reverse on Futaba is a fully throttle to be reversed. Now on all the updates of the new revisions that will be done automatically uh, when you create the new model. If it's not, you'll need to go ahead and reverse the throttle channel. Endpoint is default, servo speed is also default as well as subtrim. Now we'll go into functions. If you choose to using the condition switches on the CGY 760, you'll need to assign a function and switch to that. So in this case, on page 2, um, channel 12 is usually that's named auxiliary 5. I've gone ahead and renamed that uh, 760 condition, which we do into the model, into function name, sorry. The function name, auxiliary 5, and we can rename it whatever we like. I've gone ahead and called it 760 condition. Now, fail safe, we'll do towards the end. System type, is uh, this quite important step, is fastest in 18 channel mode. There has been some issues on the 12 channel mode, so I'd advise you to use 18 channel. Trim settings default, throttle cut, idle down, swash ring stick, that's the rest is all default. Um, timer, you go ahead and set that as you desire. I run my timer on a flat mode switch, but you could run it off the throttle if you choose. So that's it for the linkage setup. So now we move on to the model setup. I like to do the conditions first. I've gone ahead and done this to save time in the video, but it's normal idle one, two, bail out, hold. So we have on the top right, switch G is normal mode, flicking through to stunt one, and stunt two, and then our top left, in my case, is switch E, middle selection will be bailout, and towards will be for hold. And you can obviously go ahead and select switches and call them whatever you would like, but that's the way that I have mine set. We'll go to AFR, again, this will be for if you're deciding to use the conditions. So we'll go to here and we'll go to channel 12. So if we change this, off, I like to go to my rates to zero. And use my offset. So if I want to be in normal mode, do the same across all conditions. So we've zeroed our rates in our conditions. Page 30 and 31 of the manual will tell you what conditions. You have also from conditions one to five available. Minus 100 will be condition one. Minus 50 will be condition two. Zero will be condition three. Plus 50 will be condition four. And plus 100 will be condition five. So in my case, in normal mode, I'd like to run condition one. So I will use my offset and go to minus 100. That's now utilizing condition one. In my idle up one and idle up two, I'd like to use condition two. So I'll use my offset, get a negative 50. Same again for idle two. Now for my bailout and hold, I would like to use condition three. So I'll make those zero. So again, I'll select the switch, zero my rates. Same again in the hold mode. Now 0% will be condition three. So now normal mode I have is condition one. Stunt one and stunt two will be condition two. And hold and bailout will also be condition three. When we do the setup, you'll also need to go ahead and turn on the condition selecting on through the 760. Dual rates must be 100%, please leave default. Pitch curve, uh, on the default, you're gonna get a trim. 
So you'll be able to adjust the trim in the pitch curve. I like to turn that off by going to page three, inhibit, and same on the throttle curve. Through my throttle curves, I like to use XP1 across all banks. And much the same as I did with the condition, I'll go to idle up one. Make these a rate zero. Stunt two, much the same, we'll go to zero. So we've got flat lines. So in idle up two, I'll use my offset, we'll say we'll go to say 70, number one, we'll go to 60, and for the time being until we set up the speed controller, I have normal mode set up in linear, bail out, depending on the speed controller, we'll go to zero rate, and we'll adjust our offset whether that be positive or negative, to give us our bailout percentage. Throttle hold, I like to turn that on, and on the switch that we assigned before, which will be switch E, and we also want that to be the fully towards us. So that'll be a 0% signal. Bailout will be armed, and then back to hold, which we can see working here. Brush mixing, throttle mixing, pitch, pitch rudder is on default. Gyro, the way I like to do it is have the gyro mixed to my flight mode switch. So we're going to do tail there. We're going to put that onto my uh, switch G switch. And rate one, I want to be the back selection, which is what we've done here. Sorry, we've got to group these as well. Stunt one. I'd like this to be a switch G, and I also want that to be in the middle selection. We want that to be on in the middle selection. Stunt two, switch G as well, and we want that to be all the way towards us. And we also want it to be on. So if we go to this is just the rudder channel, we can see that the rudder corresponds to what flight mode we're in. Do the same to the gyro two. On 3D mode on the 760, gyro 2 will be aileron and elevator. So we'll do the same again. Switch G, rate 1 will be the back. We want it to be on, we'll group it again. Number 2, we want it to also to be switch G. We want that to be the middle selection. And we want it to be on. Start 2, switch G. On towards us, and on. Gyro 3 does nothing unless you're in F3C mode. So at the moment, uh, these are the defaults. It doesn't control anything. Now we have the gyros selected with our flight mode so we can make a change in stunt one. Uh, we can make a change in stunt two and they will correspond to where we have the switch selected. That's basically it for the transmitter setup of the CGY760. I hope that helps some of you out. The next video I'll do will be the setup of the 760 itself.